called to allow me to lie down on time. Wake up this morning, I'm right now. Having the attributes of our lamb and the blood of your brain of my life. Lord, we thank you. You called it in your life. We thank you for your love, your presence in our lives. We say thank you. You're a good God. You've always been good. You will always, you always will be good. And we just say thank you. You loved us. But I am reminded by your word that you loved us first. So I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and all that you are yet to do. Bless us, strengthen us, and keep us, Lord. Help us, Lord, as we go through the day. We are not to forget to give you honor and glory. Thank you for this day. Thank you for being with us this day. Thank you, Lord, for the songs that are already going to be in the Lord, we thank you for what you've done and what you have done to me. I will give thanks unto the Lord. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. Yes. And his truth endures through all generations. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name. of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. They that walk, I'm sorry, but they that are after the flesh be mind of the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the spirit, the things of the, I'm sorry, let me read it again. But they that are after the flesh be mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. What to be calling minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Yes. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, mm -hmm. but is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. All right. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Mm -hmm. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, mm -hmm. then if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Right. And if Christ be in you, then the body is dead because of sin. Mm -hmm. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. Does the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you? Mm -hmm. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies mm -hmm. by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Yeah. Yeah. I read Romans 8, 1 through 11. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. May the word be sanctified in your heart. You may see. Amen.
turn around and we'll just invite your attention to a very familiar passage of scripture. Esther, chapter 4, verses 15 through 17. Esther, chapter 4, verses 15 through 17. While you find it, go ahead and let us know. Jews 
who are present in Shushan, and fast for me, neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maiden, maids, and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther commanded him. You may be seated, brother of the Lord. Most gracious and all wise Father, here I am again. I need to be with me, speak to me, and speak for me. Send fresh manna from on high. Oh God, speak, God, speak, God, speak, thy servant do it here. God, I bind every hindering spirit that will hinder the word from going forth. I bind in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit that's not of you. I bind every tired spirit, every sleepy spirit in this time of the gospel time. Yes. To hear your word, God. To hear your word, God. To hear your word, God. Yeah, God. In the name of Jesus. That your word will fall on good and fertile yeah. ground and produce fruit yeah. in days to come. Keep me humble, obedient, submissive, and sensitive. To your spirit, keep me ever at the foot of the cross. When you're the glory, you are at the life of me, your servant, God. Oh, God, I need you. I need you. I need you right now, God. I need you right now. I need your anointing right now, God. I need your power right now. Let your anointing rest on me, your servant. Let your anointing rest on me, your servant. In the name of Jesus, fresh anointing, God. Fresh word, God. Speak, God. Oh, God, let the words of my mouth come in taste my heart. My words, my thoughts, be your words, your thoughts. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. These blessings I ask in Jesus. Awesome, my name I pray. And I do thank you. Amen. Amen. Look at these three verses again. Verse 15. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai. Go gather all the Jews that are present in Shushan. And fast for me. Neither eat nor drink. For three days, night or day, my maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went his way and did according in agreement to all that Esther commanded him. The time he shall together. This is Women's Month. Y'all know that? Mm -hmm. This yeah. Women's Month is Women's Month. And I didn't speak yeah. to you women. That's why I'm going to talk about that today. Mm -hmm. It's women. It's honoring women. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk to all of us. But I want to tell you, just show you how much this woman was powerful and loved by God. Yeah. For the time we share together, I want to talk about this. Esther risked her life for her people. Mm -hmm. Esther risked her life for her people. Well, before I get to chapter 4, back in chapter 4, before I go to chapter 7, before I go to uh, chapter 5, I just want to deal with chapter 3 for a minute. There's a man by the name of Haman. He wasn't a good guy. He's a bad guy. However, he was promoted by the king. Uh, and he commanded everybody Haman, this is in Haman's presence to pay homage and bow to Haman. Haman was a devious individual. He was a person who, I want to say, arrogant person that was all about him. Yes. All about him. If you read it, you read Solomon chapter 3. He was a man who was promoted. But everybody, all the servants that were in the king's gates bowed to Haman. Except one man. His name was Mordecai. Mordecai was a Jew. And he was not going to bow. See, you got, you got, you got to keep your standards. 
Just because he was outnumbered, he did not let the number deter him from doing what he was taught. Mm -hmm. To be holy, to live holy. Mm -hmm. He did not defer from that. It's in chapter 3. He, every time Mordecai, a haven came, Mordecai would not bow, but everybody else would bow. And pay homage to Haman. So watch this. All those, all in chapter 3, all those who bow, those servants uh, bow to Haman except for Mordecai. Those servants ask Mordecai a question. Why aren't you bowing to the Pay homage. Somebody go out there too. Please. Avengers Rums. Go out there to the best of you. Yeah, yeah the Avengers Boys, you too. Jesus in the name. Go, go. Please. You don't know what you're doing. When Haman saw that Mordecai did not bow or pay homage to Haman, Haman was filled with wrath or anger. Verse 6. But he did disdain, disdain, which means uh, he wanted to lay his hands on him. He wanted to lay hands on him. And not holy hands, he wanted to lay hands on him. On Mordecai alone. For they had told him of the people, this is of the people of Mordecai. We want some more. Instead, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews who were throughout the whole kingdom of Esaras and the people of Mordecai. There was there, they were angry and were going to do, do away with all the Jews. Kill all the Jews and kill Mordecai. Do away with him. I'm going to get to the house, but we ain't projected today. We're going to, you want to do some pages today. All right. Amen. Yes. Go to chapter 4, verse 7. Mm -hmm. See, let me go for a Let you read verse, verse 7 of chapter 4. Haman was all about money and bribery. Uh -huh. If you read, if you have read it, that's he was okay. about bribery. Uh -huh. yeah. And he was all about getting his way with money. money. Watch verse 7 of chapter, chapter 4. And Mordecai told him all that had happened to him. And the sum of, the sum of money that Haman had promised to pay into the king's treasury. <laughs> to destroy the Jews. Yeah. He's going to put in the king's treasure to have the Jews destroy and kill. Yeah. Watch what I'm doing. I'm saying slow right now. I'm just giving instruction and information all at the same time. He did all that because 
the G, the, because what a chaos, I mean, because what a chaos would not die mm -hmm. unto him. Yeah. And that he told him that he was a Jew and he wanted to kill all the Jews and kill Mordecai. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to pay into the king's treasury to have all the Jews killed. Watch verse 11 in chapter 4. All the king's servants and all the people of the king's promises knew that any man, watch this, this is this, any man or woman who goes into the inner court of, to the king who has not been called, has, who has not been called, who has not been summoned, watch what will happen. He has but one law put all to death. Put all to death. <laughs> Except one who the king holds out the golden scepter that he may live. Yet I myself have not been called to go into the king these 30 days. There was a decree. There was an order. There was a decree. There was an order. Order yeah. or demand. Mm -hmm. And it is, you couldn't go to the king within this time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, or else you would be killed. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. But go back, let's go back to what we just read, verse 15. Mm -hmm. We're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai. Here it is. Go gather all the Jews who are present in Shushan mm -hmm. and fast for me. Wait a minute. Fast for me. Get all the Jews that are in Shushan fast for me. <laughs> Who Jesus? Neither eat nor drink for three days, mm -hmm. night or day. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. I want to stop right there. I want you to notice something. Mm -hmm. Esther says to them, fast for me for three days, three nights. Yeah. Fast for me. Mm -hmm. She tells Everybody to fast for her. Mm -hmm. Now watch the text as it unfolds. Watch the narrative. Watch this. And I and my ladies will fast. Now I'll say this for purpose. Because some people say fast for me and they don't fast. Yeah. Some people say pray for me and they don't pray. Right. But here Esther gives us a prime example that whereas you fast for me, me and my ladies are going to fast also. What that means is that there's going to be a oneness. There is an agreement yeah. to facts. Mm -hmm. Watch this, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. She says, and so I will go to the king, which is against the law. Mm -hmm. Which is against the law. I'm going, but I need y'all to pray for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going against the law. I need y'all to fast for me. Mm -hmm. and, and if I perish, if I die, I die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but what happens here, watch what's going on here. As the heroic willingness to die for the sake of her fellow Jews mm -hmm. is commendable. Yeah. That it go. The fasting for 30 days implies a period of earnest, this is this, of earnest seeking God. Mm -hmm. They did not play around. They did not get distracted. They focused on seeking God for one purpose and one purpose only. Mm -hmm. That God will give Esther favor. Mm -hmm. That Esther will not die and going before the king out against the law, God was going to move. The church, the church, listen to me. The church. That's me up here. He can do relate to a bell. The church began to fast. Not only the fast, but the church began to pray. Pray uh, earnestly unto God at this critical juncture of the, uh, of the Jews' life. Esther understood fully that she was breaking the law of the land and that she might have to suffer an ultimate consequence. Yes. She might perish, but it didn't matter. Right. She wanted the church to pray for her. 
And he said, he said what's this? Mordecai followed everything that Esther said to do. Did everything she told him to do. Well, while you were there, why you turn to chapter 5? We want somewhere. But let me go back to, to 16 for a minute, 4 and 16. You, the church, the church, the church, the church has got to be one mind. The church was with one mind. You will see what happened when the church is with one mind and nobody deviated. Nobody did their own thing. Everybody was with one mind, one purpose, and one accord. Watch, we'll see in a minute what God does when the church is in oneness. Hello, somebody. Watch this. Ooh, Jesus. First, verse number one. Esther put on her royal clothes. She didn't go in and kind of watch this. She did not go before the king any kind of way. Esther got dressed up. She didn't have no jeans on. She didn't have no spaghetti strap dress on. Come on, somebody. I'm going to show you something. She was dressed right. She went before the king. But let me feel it just for a minute. When you go to before God, you have to dress right. You got to look presentable to God in God's house. Hear me, somebody. Hello, somebody. This is a place of consecration. Uh, this is a place where you got to come and get what you need from God spiritually as well as in the natural. So Esther called before the king in her royal garments. And what she, and she sat, what's the verse before? She sat there across from the the king's inner court. She says that. Wait a minute. She says that in her own purpose. She has purpose. Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to call verse 1 purpose. Perfect. She says that on purpose, intending to get the king's attention. Yeah. Yeah. If you want God's attention, you got to do what it takes to get his attention. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. You got to be intentional. I've been saying intentional for a long time here for the last few weeks. You got to be intentional. Esther was intentional. She went in the middle of the court to get the king's attention. Watch verse 2 says, So it was when the king saw her standing in the court. She watched it, that she, listen to this, that she found favor in his sight. If you do what is right, God will give you favor. Jake says, Favor ain't fair. Yeah, it is. When you live with real for God, yeah, it's fair. Yeah, yeah. yes, it's those who ain't live for God say it ain't fair. Yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody. Right. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter in his hand. Watch this. This this indicates that he had he approved. Watch this. He goes against his law. Yeah. He signs the decree for thirty days. But when God and the people of God get together. And one purpose, one cause, God will move on your behalf. Come on, somebody. God will move on your behalf when the church, when the people of God becomes in unison and one accord, God will move in a mighty and awesome way. God moved and touched the heart of the king, and his heart changed, and he broke his law. He broke his command. Mm. And he whole healed. Is a, um, he shows his approval to Esther by holding out the golden scepter. Mm -hmm. Oh my yes. goodness. Mm. Yes, watch what Esther does. God watches, God instructs Esther. God gives Esther wisdom, what to do and how to do, that the people of God will be blessed. Amen. Watch this. Watch this. In verse number four, I call verse four through six. Divine wisdom. I call it divine wisdom slash setup. Okay, I'll read it. I call verse 4 through 6 divine wisdom slash setup. Watch verse 4. So Esther answered, if it please the king, let the king and what's and Haman come today to the banquet that I have prepared. What's this? For him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse 5. And then the king said, Bring Haman quickly. So 
that he may do as Esther has said. God will soften the hearts of the enemy. Y'all hear me? God will soften the heart of the enemy. Watch this. <laughs> so the king said, so the king and Haman went to the banquet that Esther had prepared. Verse 6. At the banquet of wine, the king said to Esther, what is your petition? It shall be granted to you what your request. What is your request? Up, uh, watch this, listen to this, listen to this. What is your request? Up to half of the kingdom, it shall be done. In other words, I'm going to give you half of the kingdom. Half of the kingdom. Not a little bit of the kingdom, but half of the kingdom. I'll give you, what is your request? Oh my, what is your request? Go to chapter 7. We want some money. I'm just giving information and instructions. Look at verse 1 of chapter 7. So the king and Haman went to dine with Queen Esther. Now watch this banquet. There was not a lot of people at the banquet. There were only three people at the banquet. Esther, King, and Haman at the banquet. <laughs> she did not leave nobody else at the banquet but then three, right. plus two, right. plus herself. Right. I told you in chapter five, divine wisdom slash seven. In, I'm going to call chapter 7, verse 1 through 10, the, the, the re revelation or the reveal of the setup. Reveal. The right. reveal of the setup. Right. 1 through 10. The reveal yeah. of the setup. Watch how this narrative unfolds. She sets him up by inviting him. Mm -hmm. She knows that he, doesn't, he wants to kill all the Jews. Yeah. She knows that. But still a prayer and petition sent up for her that God will give her divine favor and God will give her divine blessings. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Not just blessings, but divine blessings. Y'all hear me? Divine yeah. blessings. Yeah. That's the dream. A regular, ordinary blessing and divine blessing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The divine blessing is, is, is God ordained. Yeah. God provided. Because what happens is God will go an extra mile mm -hmm. than a normal blessing. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah. say, I need, I need an extra mile yeah. blessing. Yeah. yeah, I need a divine blessing. Yeah. Watch this in verse 2. He says, watch this. And on the second day at the banquet of wine, the king again said to Esther, what is your petition? Yeah. Queen Esther, it is to be granted you and what is your request? He repeats what he said in verse chapter 5. Again, just make sure that Esther gets it. Half of it is yours. Half of the kingdom is yours. Watch what Esther does from here on out. Chapter 3 to verse, chapter, uh, verse 3 to verse 10. Watch what Esther does strategically. How God through her orchestrates something. It's a setup. Mm -hmm. Can I just do this way? It's a divine setup. Divine setup. It's a divine setup. Watch this. Then Queen Esther answered and said, If I have favor in your sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at, any, at, at my petition mm -hmm. and my people at my request. I'm going to go back with this. Let my life be given to me mm -hmm. at my petition, at my request, and my people at my request. Mm. In other words, save my life and save my people's life. Yeah. I'm going to explain. Mm -hmm. so, save my life and save my church's life. Y'all should speak on that one. 
Watch verse number four. For we have been sold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you go back to those verses, those chapters, when Haman mm -hmm. put money in the king's treasury yeah. for mm -hmm. the Jews. And this is, she knew what to go and watch how strategically she does this. She says, we have been sold. Mm -hmm. My people and I to be destroyed, yeah. to be killed, mm -hmm. to be annihilated, All right. had been sold as what's this, male and female slaves. Yeah. I would have, watch this, held my tongue, although the enemy could never compensate the king's loss. It's just good better. Watch this. <laughs> so the king, verse, verse 4, verse 5. So the king asked, to, asked and said, Who is he? <laughs> First of all, she, she, she gets his curiosity out. Yeah. He's now intrigued. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Who is this individual? Who is he? And where is it? Who is it? And where is it? <laughs> Who dares presume in his heart to do such a thing? In other words, who, who, who is it? Where is he at? Who has the audacity to do this and to think like this? Who has this, uh, this, this mindset to do this? <laughs> Watch this. And Esther said in verse 6, and Esther said, I'm almost done now. And Esther said, the adversary and the enemy is the wicked Haman. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. The king promotes Haman. Yeah. He has people bow before Haman, pay a homage to Haman. Yeah. And Esther, with boldness, it is Haman. He's the wicked one. He's our adversary. He's the evil one. It's Haman. Uh -huh. So Haman was terrified. Yeah. He was scared. Mm -hmm. Before the king and the queen. Mm -hmm. The queen had wisely invited. I said the queen has wisely invited for a just this moment or a time such as this to, to his face she charged this wicked Haman. Haman's true, Haman's true character was now revealed. He was exposed. God exposed the enemy. It's not so much because the Jews knew who, who it was, but the king didn't know who it was. And so the king sees who it is. Esther exposes Haman before the king. All right. mm, mm, mm. Watch this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this tweet. What happened is God exposes Haman before the king who promoted Haman. He exposes him to let him know that who he promoted is evil. Who he promoted is the adversary to the Jews. He exposes that demon. Uh -huh. <laughs> Watch this. Haman's true character was now fully revealed. The king's, watch this, the king, watch this, watch this, watch this. She exposes Haman. The king promotes Haman. Watch what happens next. The king stalks out of the palace garden like a raging panther. He's mad. And that's what did I just do? Yeah. He's mad. He's upset. I'm going to have you paint this picture, God. He leaves the room in anger. His countenance might have been bothered. He bothered him too much. As he remembered his part, what's it? In his, in his part in approving the Jews to be killed. 
Now, it's also, not only did it expose Haman, it also exposed the king. Because the king approved for the Jews to be killed. He remembers his part in approving the terrible scheme. The terrible scheme. It was him much closer to home than he had anticipated. Keep watching the keep watching the next y'all. It's a setup. It's a setup. <laughs> Watch this eight. The king returned from the palace garden to the place of the banquet of wine. Watch what Haman does out of guilt. Watch what he does out of guilt. Haman had fallen across the couch where Esther was. And catch what I'm saying, because I'm going somewhere. He falls across the couch <laughs> where Esther was. Notice the king is out of the room. Guess what? Watch this, because I paint this with Lord's head. He falls across the couch where Esther was. The king has not, is not in the room at the time. Watch this. <laughs> the king, then the king said, will he also assault the queen while I'm in the house? As the word left the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. This is the king returned to the room, interpreted this, interpreted this. This is what he sees. This is what happened, but this is what he sees. This as an attempt to assault his wife sexually. I, I emphasize, he goes across the couch where Esther was. The king is not in the room at the time. But when he gets to the room, he interprets that he's trying to assault his wife. Watch how God orchestrates this. Watch how he does this to bless the people. Watch this. <laughs> God says, Haman's faith was now sealed. His faith was now sealed. Without an express word from the king, the servants Covered, the servant covered his face. A primary execution. One of them told the king about the gallows. This is the gallows Haman had built. And the king ordered the villain to be hanged on him. The villain to be hanged on him. Let me pause for a minute. That gallows was for Mordecai. <laughs> Let me go back to Genesis. We say it in Genesis chapter 50. It says, You made it for evil, but God made it for my good. Amen. Watch this. Haman had set this up for Mordecai mm -hmm. to be in the God. <coughs> but you made it for my evil, but God made it for my good. <coughs> God will flip the script. Yeah. He flipped the script on Haman. What was meant for Mordecai was for him. Y'all catch that? What was meant for, Morde meant for Mordecai was for him. Watch this. He ordered his execution on those down. Watch this. The gallows was for Haman, who spoke against the king, uh, against the Jews, rather, spoke against him, and now he's in trouble. He is hung on what he tried to kill somebody else on. Watch this. He prepared for Mordecai. But the king's wrath subsided when Haman died. Well, let me say this. She risked her life for her people. But I want to tell you something. When the church come together and prays together with one common, common cause, God will move on behalf of his people. 
God will do what he said he will do. Amen. There is no secret what God can do. God bless the Jews and bless Esther, bless Mordecai. God, let me say y'all, so y'all, if you say with God, God has got his hands on you. Yes. No weapon formed against you, come on somebody. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Every tongue that rises against you shall you shall, yes. you shall judge. All right. Am I right about it? And, yes. and Isaiah? Yes. Well, here, what, what uh, Haman thought he was going to get to do, it will backfire on him. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. It backfired on him. Well, I'm going to go to my seat in a minute, but I want to talk to us about this. God, the Lord will make a way somehow. You may not see the way being made right now, but if you pray to God and fast to God, there will be a way made somehow. God will do it for his people. Well, it's all right. I heard somebody say this. I tried Jesus, and I found him to be all right. Have you tried Jesus? Yeah. And you find him to be alright. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I found Jesus. Yeah. I tried Jesus. Right. And I found him to be alright. I found him to be a way maker. I found him to be a healer. I found him to be a deliverer. I found him to be a way maker. I tried Jesus. And I found him to be alright. And you tried Jesus, and you found him to be all right. I tried him, and he's all right. But I heard the song there was something. He will bring you out. I don't know about you, you've been through some stuff. You've been through some pains. But God will bring you out. God will see you free. God will do it for you. Yes, he will. God will. God will, God shall do it for his people. It may look God right now, but God will, God will sing the free. We may do it or not, but joy, God joy will come in the morning. Hang on in there, hold on to God and change your hand. God will, God will. I heard my favorite scripture. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which I am. In my circumstances, I keep looking up. In my trials, I keep looking, looking up, looking up. In my disappointments, I keep looking up. In my sickness, I keep looking up. I don't have no money.
Yes. University uh, and let me just pray about this. Thank you so much. Let's look to God. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bounded with greatest blessings. You have stored up upon us even what you are yet to do. We thank you. God, I pray, God, you will bless us, God. The whole life, hold out the Lord to you today. Keep us strengthened. Keep us walking before you, Lord. Right? Mm -hmm. That we will live a life mm -hmm. that is pleasing unto you and to you alone, God. Help us, God, to come to your house with worship, mm -hmm. with adoration, with uh, appreciation. For who you are, the cross stands for who you are. Yeah. Oh God, not also for not only for who you are, but what you do for us. Yeah. Yes. We want to worship you, God, and adore you, God. Come into your house with thanksgiving. Be glad, for this is the day you have made for us. Mm -hmm. We come, God, and adore you, and lift you up. And I pray, God, that you bless the name of the Lord before us. We pray you bless. Mr. Freeman, touch her body. Mm -hmm. Touch her in the situation God she's going through right now. Yeah. You touch and move by your mighty yeah. hand yeah. and move by your mighty power. Yeah. Give strength yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. At a time such as she's going through, mm -hmm. give her strength. Hold her up, God. Mm -hmm. Move mightily for her yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Not only her, but move mightily for the family as well. In the name of Jesus, move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. God, I pray, God, you bless uh, Sister Joyce's husband, uh, Brother Clarence. Uh, touch him and strengthen him, God. Move by your mighty hand, your mighty power in his life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Touch and bless the Diane Morgan. Touch her with your mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, move also for her, God. Strengthen her, God. Oh, God, bless the mighty one the way. I pray, God, you bless Deacon Jalen's grandfather. Yeah. Touch him, God, in his recovery, God. Touch him, give him strength, God. Give him energy, God. Yeah. Touch him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Touch in the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless the Panky who will be going for our surgery on Thursday. Yeah. I pray in the name of Jesus, you got the hands of the surgeon. Yeah. You get the surgeon wisdom and knowledge perform the surgery, God. The surgery will be successful. And I pray her recovery shall spring for speedily, God. There'll be no complications, God. I pray all be well after the surgery, God. Move mighty and move awesomely for her, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you just bless uh, uh, Lady Wellness, God. Spoken uh, 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 request, God. That's spoken request. Yeah. You know what she's saying to you and her request is, God. Yeah. You move by your mighty hand, you move by her mighty power. Bless her, God, the record, God, the strength of God. God. Just bless her every area she needs blessing, God. Bless her, the mighty hand of the Monday way, God. Bless Venus Parks, God, in her recovery, God. Uh, uh, from, from surgery, God, I pray you bless her. Uh, you touch God. I, I pray, God, that her recovery shall spring for spirit. Oh, God, move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. As only you can do, God, touch and strengthen God in the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless all of our sick, God, name by name and one by one, God. I pray in the name of Jesus. You touch and heal, God, and strengthen God in the name of Jesus. Those that are going through, God, touch them, God, in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Lift the burden, lift the load, God. Give peace, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I pray, God, you make ways in the way. Make ways in the way, God. Provide them, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, God, bless these who come to the altar, God. Bless their name by name and one by one, God. Meet the needs of this, your people, God. 
Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, do it for them, God. In the mighty, awesome name of Jesus, we pray and we do thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Lord.
we'll be in chapter 6, uh, verses 1 and 2. Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Talking about this, the first seal. The first seal, the conqueror seal. We're going to deal with that this coming Sunday, the Lord be our help. And I mean, the last Wednesday was, was awesome. Last Wednesday, we were, in, we were in worship on the Wednesday night. We were literally in worship. You'll be real saying, literally in worship in Bible study. Literally, God will show up in the night. He did that on Sunday He showed up on the night. He was just worshiping God in Bible study. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. So we have some prayers for us as we can endeavor to dig in those golden nuggets in Revelation, the book of Revelations. God bless you. I'm going to dismiss you because you're going to miss some bitters. Amen. Amen. God, we thank you for what you have done in this worship experience. We thank you, God. I pray, God, blessings be upon this, your people. I decree, I declare, blessings be upon this, your people. Doors be made or even open for this, your people. Healing will take place. Recovery will take place. Oh, God, burdens be gone. Move mightily for this, your people. Bless them for the remainder of the day. Bless them for the coming week. I pronounce and declare blessings this week come in for your people, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, covering of blessings be upon your people. When I speak, God, and ask for covering blessings upon you, that the covering will, will deflect every negative thing. Through your blessings, you will just be a shield. Yes. Oh, yes. oh my God. Yes. Your blessings will be a shield, will be a covering yes. and a protection for your people, God. Bless in the name of Jesus. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. You bless him awesome and you bless him mightily. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling. Present you forward before the presence of the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, best, and dominion and power, both now and forever. And the people of God say, Amen. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Blessings to you, the people of God. This is yours in your hands.